Hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to my flimsy... <laughs> my flimsy... <laughs> floating shelves. Okay, so today what I'm doing, I have a 15 inch long uh, 2 by 4 One is uh, one is 15, one is 16 inches, so um, it's going to be overkill. But what I'm going to do is uh, reinforce this little shelf. The idea is to um, cut this wood at an angle. I'll cut it at an angle, and then uh, it'll go here at an angle to support it. Um, because I'm not a professional contractor, um, should it be 18? It should be 18. Should it be uh, 10 inches long uh, to match this? 18 inches. So if this is so, yeah, this is 16 inches. And um, so should it be, so should it be cut at an angle, then cut at the angle at, at about 10 inches, and, and, and will that support uh, this right here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what is the math? What is the formula? Um, it's a triangle, so 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. It, it, I mean, um, so what I'm going to do, because I have... These two pieces of wood, um, you can see one is, yeah, one's about 15 inches, one's about 16 inches. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this at an angle, cut that at an angle, and um, and then just go from there. It, it's it's going to be, it's going to be trial and error. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's get to cutting. Okay. So I used um, the Raptor Square, and uh, as you can see, there's a line, uh, there's a line, and uh, I'll just cut, and then uh, let's see what happens. Okay, I cut my first piece of wood, and uh, is my blade uh, not sharp enough? Am I moving too fast? Um, I made a cut, and, uh, yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's go to the second one. Alright, maybe I'll go a little slower, I don't know. Alright, it's cut, and I got a couple of extra of these. <coughs> Should I need, uh, to reinforce my brace there. So let's see how I did. All right, everybody. So it looks like I was off by an inch. It's barely sticking out from the top. So uh, if this was the longer one, the 15, so it had to be 14 inches. So I would need a 14 inch piece of wood to cut at an angle to put on and level a 10 inch piece of wood. I don't know, that's strange. I don't know what the math is, so, um, all right, well, uh, trial and error, let's try again. Okay, as you can see, this is a 15 inch, that other one was 16, I was off by like an inch, so I'm going to cut just, uh, cut this at an angle, cut that at an angle, 15 inch. I'm learning here, everybody, I'll be back. All right, this one is 15 inches. See how this one's a, a little shorter? So this is the 15 inch one. This one was 16. Yeah, 15 and 16. 15, 16. Let's measure. OK, 
Okay, so we are back. So, <coughs> I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Look at that. It's right there. So it would be a 15 inch, 15 inch piece of wood cut in an angle to meet the 10 inch. So look at that. Look at how long the piece of wood is. So because I'm cre I create I cut this angle and I cut this angle. So so for those of you that knew that if I have a 10 a, so for those of you that knew that I have a 10 inch 10 inch piece of shelf or wood and I want to support it with a 2x4 I know it's overkill um, yeah look at that it's right there let's bring it up and I can make it nice and flush and there it is I don't believe it wow that is amazing So there it is, 15 inch, 15 inch piece of wood, cut an angle, cut an angle. Yes, it's overkill to reinforce this, but um, it was it was uh, leftover wood. So um, yeah, you see how it's dirty. So I'm gonna sand it. You see how it's got like little things right here. So I'm gonna sand it, clean it up, and uh, and then it's still wow, man, shocked. 15 inches what it was was the magic number. Okay, everybody, now you know. If you're going to install a shelf, a 10 inch shelf, and you want to reinforce it with 2x4, so 10 inches, 15 inches, so it's 50% um, more. So 10 inches plus 50% more is 5 inches, right? So, so yeah. So that was the math. All right, everybody. Um, that's just how to, uh, reinforce your floating shelf because uh, it's very flimsy. Like I have just this one right here. So I'm going to put, um, uh, two by four. Is it going to work? Yeah, it should work. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the, I'll put the two by four. Um, yeah, it'll work. I could even cover that. Look at that. Cover that and then put this nice and flush. That's the idea. Just put it nice and flush and uh, it'll, it'll be nice and even. Okay, everybody, if you'd like the content, subscribe, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. So this is just me building uh, my floating shelf. Now I'm adding some support. And you're thinking to yourself, well, how, how are you going to support it? Pretty simple. So to support it, I'll just drill a hole. I'll, I'll drill a hole pretty much. I'll drill a hole where my thumb is. And uh, right here where my thumb is, I'll drill a hole. And that'll support into the wall. And then uh, on, on top, um, I'll just put the piece of wood on top and drill some holes on top to support the wood. And then, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably stain it and or finish it. All right, everybody. If you like the content, subscribe. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Question, comments, concern, put them in the comment section below. All right, everybody. Catch y'all in the next one.